Danny DeVito yes. to come. Yes, but first is Carrie meeting some Mersey Beat legends. A bus trip in Liverpool will usually include memories of one band, the Beatles. But today I'm going on a trip to celebrate the UK's longest running pop group. The searchers have been going longer than The Who or The Rolling Stones. After 61 years, the searchers are finally hanging up their guitars, but first we're going on a journey to find out where it all began. Welcome aboard, guys. Well, thank you very much. You very much. The searchers got together in the 1950s in North Liverpool, where John McNally grew up. This is St Johnny, St John's Road. Yeah. It's my home. What music were you playing at this Skiffle. point? Skiffle. 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 Three chords, Skiffle. We'd all bought guitars, but we couldn't really play them. So if you knew two chords, you were OK, you could go out and play. Three chords and you were king. You had two <laughs> chords. Three chords, you were wonderful. <laughs> and uh, you had that, you could play for an evening in a pub or something, or anywhere. And uh, where did the idea for the name come from? We have just seen the movie, John Wayne, The Searchers. Black do, so we kept it. Frank was a friend and yet to join the searchers, but the band was up there with the best. We were north of Liverpool and the Beatles were south of Liverpool, men of the avenue and places like that. They were in the posh places. Yeah, <laughs> yes. We were, we, were, we were the docker old crown, or my father was a docker. But an early performance at the Cavern Club in front of Beatles manager Brian Epstein failed to deliver a record deal. Brian said, I'll be down the seal of the cabin, but unfortunately we were on last. So we sat in the grapes and by the time we come out we were half cut <laughs> and um, we, we didn't play very well and uh, the day later Brian said I'll pass. Brian Epstein turning us down was an awakening for the searchers. It was at the nearby Iron Door Club that they had more success. I remember it very well and it's, it's bringing back emotional memories really because I haven't been here since 50 odd years, we decided to get round there, we made our demo disc and one of them songs was Sweet to My Sweet by The Drifters. What the searchers did was they wouldn't just slavishly copy a record, they would take a song and work out what was wrong with it, where the deadwood was and would turn it into something really, really special as in the case of Sweet to My Sweet. Sweet to My Sweet, shoot for my honey. Why were you not writing your own songs at that point? Because um, management record companies, agents, wanted to make money out of us. They never gave us a time to sit in the studio and create, and that was the big problem. Sweets was their first number one, followed by Needles and Pins, and then with Frank in the lineup, When You Walk in the Room. Radio presenter Billy Butler was a Liverpool DJ at the time. Why did they stand out? Because of the sound, because of the guitars, the harmony. And the great thing about them is that the longevity is because they've got a catalogue of hits. Yes. That's how good they were. And they look pretty bad now, but in their day, they were pretty well turned out. <laughs> Latham Hall is one of the original Mersey Beat venues. What is it like for you being back here? Quite emotional, and I think it's, it's weird, and I feel I'm sweating. I don't know why. And I just feel it doesn't seem like it's me. From here, the searchers went on to headline the biggest shows in the States. Because everything British was the best at the time. It was the Searchers, Dusty Springfield, Marvin Gaye, The Supremes, The Temptations, The Contours and The New Beats. Not bad for two dollars, was it? Looking at your worldwide records, we're talking 50 million records. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, that we would have the royalties. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No farewell tour would be complete without a special performance of Sweets for My Sweet in Liverpool for the One Show. Sweets for my sweet, sugar for my honey. Well, it's uh, been joyful, it's a great career. I've enjoyed it right from the start and still do. It's been a wonderful, wonderful adventure, and we feel so privileged and lucky to have had this happen to us. We're going out, but we're going out on a high. <laughs>